for this question, we are asked to explain two advantages of manufactured boards over natural timbers. I have highlighted the keywords advantages, manufactured boards and the total marks available, which are four for this question. It is also important to note that the command word here is explain, which means suggest reasons why. We also know that the word advantages means positives, good things. And we know that manufactured boards are made by gluing wood fibres or veneers together. As I'm starting to think about manufactured boards here, I remember that fibres could just be waste material or offcuts from other woods and that the size isn't limited by the size of a tree for manufactured boards. Also, as there's no grain, the characteristic properties of manufactured boards are generally quite uniform. This short recollection of manufactured boards has allowed me to come up with my first advantage already, for manufactured boards can be more environmentally friendly, as they're made from offcuts or recycled timber. That first advantage has already gained me two marks. As I've stated the advantage in blue, manufactured boards can be more environmentally friendly. And then in black, I've given the reason why, as they can be made from offcuts or recycled material. The second advantage I'm going to write is that manufactured boards were available in large sheets. Whereas, as we've already remembered, the size of natural timber planks is limited by the size of the tree. Again, this answer for my second advantage has given me two more marks. I've stated the advantage and then I have given a reason as to why that is an advantage. There are other advantages of manufactured boards also. For example, the top layer of most manufactured boards can be a veneer from a high quality wood which will give it an amazing appearance or maybe a plastic laminate for protection. Manufactured timbers are also available in standard thicknesses, for example, 3, 6, 9, 12 millimetres. Regardless of the two advantages that you have chosen to explain in answer to this question, the key is to ensure that you have given a reason for the advantage you have stated. I would also advise you to number your advantages, as I have here. This will ensure that the examiner can clearly see that you have answered the question appropriately. You must also ensure that the advantages you choose and which you write and explain are not too similar. If they are, you may be in danger of limiting the marks that you achieve.